um, you guys are my family, so I'll be honest with you. PB and I spoke about today's service weeks ago. This was to be our Thanksgiving service. You understand? After the election is over and we come and we're celebrating and we're thanking God and I was just going to give a short charge to say, see what the Lord has done. Are you, are you with me? And then, you know, we use that to build up your faith and give God some much due and necessary praise. And then we finish the service and I go to Abuja and start looking for apartments and uh, office space and things of that nature. And God said, you know, so, so is it only faith when, when you win? Because the truth is, your faith in God does not stop you from hurting, but it helps you heal and it helps you deal. Your faith in God is not just about when everything is rosy and it's a walk in the park. And there are good times. You see, see, the message of Christianity is not that you accept God into your life and then he helps you avoid trouble and stress and dysfunction. No, it doesn't. You don't get to avoid it. But your faith in God helps you transform it. It helps you process it. It helps you understand it. It helps you overcome it. Are you with me this morning? You know, we sing songs like, We bring the sacrifice of praise into the house. You know the song now, Millennials. Of the Lord. Abi? We bring the sacrifice. Sometimes we sing the song and we don't pay attention to what the word is saying. Sometimes praise is a sacrifice. Sometimes, you know, a sacrifice costs you something. Are you hearing me this morning? Sometimes praise is born out of pain. Is born out of confusion. Is born out of frustration. Is born out of you doing everything that you knew to do. And the Bible says, when you have done all to stand, stand. Even though it's hard to see him, it's hard to hear him, it's hard to understand that he's there. But you have to trust that because he resurrected, I will resurrect too. If you think my story is over, you don't know my God and you don't know me.